Okay, it's Miss Alana, and this is part two of Tuesday's math practice, February 23rd, 2016. So we finished one through five. Let's go ahead and do number six through ten, okay? So let's look at number six. I'm going to have to scoot it over, so either follow with me on my paper or follow on your paper, okay? Let's read it together. Ready? Go. If you have three $10 bills... For one dollar bills and one quarter, how much money do you have? Okay, so let's read that a second time. And this time, what should we do? Circle our important details, our important facts and information. Okay, if you have three ten dollar bills, so I'm going to circle that and underline that. For one dollar bills and one quarter, how much do we have? So the strategy we should use is let's draw a picture. Okay, so we have ten dollar bills. So let's draw three ten dollar bills. Ten. Ten. And ten. Okay, you see, I have three, ten, 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 three ten dollar bills, and I have four what? One dollar bills. Okay, so I need to draw some one dollar bills. How many do I need to draw? Four. One, two, three, and four. Now, what's this? One quarter. Well, a quarter we know is a coin. How much is a quarter? No, not 10 cents. 10 cents, that's a dime. And then a penny is how much? A penny is one cent. And then which coin is five cents? No, not a quarter. That's a nickel. So a quarter is 25. 25 cents. All right, so do we have, have everything? All right, do we have everything? Yes, three $10 bills, four $1 bills, and a quarter. So let's count the dollar bills together first. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, let's count that again. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, then we have 25. Do we do 34 plus 25? No, because it's $34 and it's 25 cents. So we don't add them together. All right, I'm going to just put my answer right here. How much is that all together? $34 and, see, we put a decimal point, 25 cents. Now, when you write money like this, you don't have to write cents there after the 25, okay? We know that when we have the dollar here and the decimal point, that's $34.25. Okay, are we good? All right, let's look at number seven. Number seven says, which choice, read it with me, which choice best represents the length of a baseball cap? Okay, so a baseball cap, okay, no, not a baseball bat, and not a baseball ball, a baseball cap, that's a hat. Okay, I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to draw a hat. Oh, hi, that's Miss Alana. Oh, look at me, I'm fancy with my hat. Fancy with my hat. Oh, picture looks like my hat is bigger than my head. Oh, my. All right, so the hat on my head, would that be one mile, one inch, one foot, or one yard? All right, one mile. A mile from here to down the street. Is that how big a baseball hat is? Oh, no. I don't have a big old head. Oh, my, no. X that out. How about one inch? All right, remember, one inch is about that size. Is that the size of a baseball hat? Or oh, it can be for a doll, maybe. Not for my head. That'd be so, that's a tiny, that's a baby. Okay, how about one foot? So one foot is about maybe the size of your foot. Would that be about the size of a hat? Yeah, maybe. All right, what about one yard? 
Okay, not the yard at your house, not where you run around. A yard, stretch out your arms, side to side, stretch them out on your side. All right, from fingertip on your left hand to the other hand on your right hand. Oh, no, from the left hand to the right hand. Is that how big a hat would be? Oh, no, that's definitely not the size. So what's the best answer? One inch or one foot? One foot is the best answer. I'm going to cross that out. Okay, let's look at number eight. Okay, read it with me. It says Lana or Lana, maybe Lana. Lana, was, it, oh my, it almost looks like my name, like Lana, like Miss LaLana. That's weird. Okay, Lana was playing a video game and had 21 lives. In a hard part of the game, she lost three lives. If she got 43 more lives in the next level, how many lives would she have? Oh my goodness, what kind of game is this? This is a lot of lives. Okay, when I was a kid, there was only three lives. And once you use up your three lives, it's game over. Unless you had a secret code for unlimited lives. Hmm. All right, so let's do the problem. Let's read it again. And this time, let's circle important details and information. Lana was playing a video game. Now, you don't have to circle video game. I know that's important to you, but we don't need that to solve the problem. So she first started out with what? 21 lives. Now, it says in a hard part of the game, she lost three lives. Now, there's a keyword lost. If she lost lives, what would we have to do? Take away. You have to subtract. So let's do that part first. So we start with 21, take away 3. Can I do 1, take away 3? No. So we borrow from this 2. The 2 becomes a 1. That 1 becomes an 11. And 11, take away 3. Let's count from 3. 3 in your mind. Count. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How much is that? Eight. But if you know three plus eight is 11, you didn't even have to count. And then one minus nothing is one. All right, so 18, is that our answer? No, because we're not done. Look, there's some more part of the problem. If she got 43 more lives in the next level, how many lives would she have? So now she had 18. First, she started with 21. She lost three, so that's 18. And now she got 43 more. So what do we have to do? Add 43. So we take the 18, and now we do what? Plus 43. Okay, what's eight plus three? Eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, look, we did that right there. Carry the one up there. And then we have one plus one is two. And then two plus four is six. So the answer is 61. 60. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's like a train coming by near here. It's so loud. Maybe you can hear it. Maybe you can't hear it. But I can hear it. It's kind of loud. All right, 61 what? 61 lives. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of lives. She better finish that game, as many lives as she has. Okay, let's look at number nine. Let's look at these place value blocks. So what blocks do you see here? We have hundreds of blocks. I'm going to write that down. Hundreds of blocks. We have tens of blocks and ones of blocks. How many hundreds of blocks do you see? One. How about tens? How many tens do you see? Three. And what about ones? How many do you see? Two. And we put those digits together, and what number do we have? What model is this for? 132. There's your answer right there. 
Okay, you ready? We are almost done. We are on number 10. Let me flip my paper. All right, let's look at number 10. All right, number 10. It says, use the graph below to answer the question. Which sport did exactly four people say was their favorite? Okay, so use the graph below. What kind of graph is this? It's a bar graph. That's a bar graph. And the question says, which sport did exactly four people say was their favorite? Oh, you know what this graph is missing? It's missing a title. It's missing a title at the top. Can I use bar graph for the title? No, we can't use bar graph for the title. What is this graph about? Favorite sport. So I am going to write a title right here. Favorite sport. So go ahead and write down the title. So you have the title, favorite sport. And let's look, what are the choices? Tennis, soccer, basketball, and bowling. Oh, which one's your favorite? Raise your hand if you like tennis. Raise your hand if you like soccer. Raise your hand if you like basketball. Raise your hand if you like bowling. Raise your hand if you just like all the sports and you want to play all the sports. Okay, let's see. How many people voted for tennis? Look right there. What's that? Four. How about soccer? Soccer is right there. I look all the way here. What's that? A six. How about basketball? Oh, it's all the way to the top. That's a nine. Look, that was the favorite one, right? Because it's all the way to the top. What about bowling? Oh, what's that? Seven. So the question said, which sport did exactly four people say was their favorite? That's right. The answer is tennis. So I'm going to write tennis. That's my answer. I'm going to circle it so we can see that. Okay, so we are done with numbers 1 through 10. Now, if you didn't do 1 through 5 or you need to check 1 through 5, go find part 1 of the video, okay? All right, so we are good to go. I will see you next time.